That's not what I'm saying, imbecile. You, God, you completely uh, misrepresent my ideas. Why am I even bothered to talk with such idiots? Boris, calm down. No, don't down. tell me to that calm. That is not I am true, calm. Boris. Don't calm. jump on us just because we don't understand I, what you're I, I saying. I don't jump on you. It's not the idea behind Christianity I'm faulting, or Judaism, or any religion. It's the professionals who've made it into corporate business. There's big money in the God racket. Big money. Here we go. Yes, here we go, Boris. Hey, the basic teachings of Jesus are quite wonderful. So, by the way, is the original intention of Karl Marx, okay? Oh, hey, what could be bad? Everybody should share equally. Do unto others. Democracy. Government by the people. All great ideas. These are all great ideas. But they all suffer from one fatal flaw. Which is? Now, what's that? Which is they're all based on the fallacious notion that people are fundamentally decent. Give them a chance to do right and they'll take it. They're, they're not stupid, selfish, greedy, cowardly, short-sighted worms. They speak do for the yourself, best they man. Can. Speak for right. yourself. All I'm saying is that people make life so much worse than it has to be. And, and believe me, it's a, it's a nightmare without their help. I don't know if you were affected by the volcanic ash cloud, um, but I had friends that were stuck all over the world and they missed weddings and funerals and they had to put themselves up in a hotel for extra days that they hadn't budgeted for and they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. Well, what isn't an act of God? No, if you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? that he does everything. Isn't that right? Everything is an act of him. He's all-powerful. He's everywhere at once. He invented everything. There was nothing before him. He invented time, everything. He's across it all, okay? He doesn't miss a trick, and he's not absent-minded. A volcano going off isn't like him going, fuck, I left the oven on. You know, it's... <laughs> and who are these insurance companies that can decide what is and isn't an act of God? How do they know, okay? Have they got a hotline to God? They call him up, do they? Ring, 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 ring. Yellow. Uh, could I speak to God, please? Speaking. Oh, I didn't think you'd answer the phone yourself. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, um, that volcanic ash cloud. Uh, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was an act of me, all right. <laughs> so I shouldn't pay out. No, don't fucking pay him a penny, son. No. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. While I've got you here, um, did you make a tree fall on Steve Baxter's car? There's a lot of Steve Baxters. Um, Steve Baxter, 2 Acacia Road, Hounslow. It happened at 2.15 on the 3rd of June this year. 2.15, 3rd of June. No, that wasn't me. I was in Africa that day giving AIDS to babies. <laughs> Arms, suspected internal injuries, severe contusions to the head. Okay, let's move fast. Premier solution of Arnica Montana, stat. Strength? One part in a million. I'm sure, it looks serious. You're right, we need to strengthen the dose. One part in ten million. On it, Doctor. Well, you've got a tricky one. Nothing we can't handle. Get me some wolfsbane, also known as monkshood in here. And a whole tray of flower remedies. Whoa, the chakras are fading. We need some crystals. That's fresh some purple tinted quartz. Right. Make that aquamarine quartz. Good call. Okay, he's stabilizing. Now, does anybody know what sort of car hit him? A blue Ford Mondeo, apparently. Right, get me a bit of blue Ford Mondeo, put it in water, shake it, dilute it, shake it again, dilute it again, do some more shaking, dilute it some more, and then put three drops on his tongue. If that doesn't cure him, I don't know what will. You should have a look at this, Simon. What is it? I don't think this poor chap's got long to live. Why not? His lifeline. Very short. <laughs> but his horoscope's not too clever either. Sagittarius. Brace yourself for a surprise. Things are about to change for you. Certainly are, unless... Wait. What? We could try drawing a bit more lifeline on with Byro. It would never work. You got a better idea? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Time of death, 3.34. Itch. Day. I just can't stand losing them. It happens. I don't know. Sometimes I think a trace solution of deadly nightshade or a statistically negligible quantity of arsenic just isn't enough. <laughs> That's crazy talk, Simon. Okay, so you kill the odd patient with cancer or heart disease or bronchitis, flu, <laughs> chickenpox or measles. But 
When someone comes in with a vague sense of unease or a touch of the nerves or even just more money than sense, he'll be there for them. A bottle of basically just water in one hand and a huge invoice in the other. I suppose you're right. Now, another drink. I need one. Excuse me. Two more homeopathic lockers, please. <laughs> St. Peter, and you have all been part of a rapture. Yeah, we've been talking about it for a long time, but we finally got around to doing it. And that means that the world is over, and we've taken everybody up here, and now we have to judge everyone and decide who goes to heaven and who goes to hell. So, as you can imagine, we have an awful lot of work ahead of us tonight. We're going to be doing this all day. We're going to be going through the names alphabetically, so we just require a little patience from you guys. Uh, one thing that would actually make things go a lot smoother and run through a lot faster is if all the Muslims would get over into that line over there, that would just help me out a whole lot. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Street Peter! Street Peter! That's St. Peter. Thank you. Yes? My baby's not old enough to know right from wrong. What'll happen to my baby? Well, we have a clause for that. All children who are too young to discern between good and evil are protected by his love. So, all babies go to heaven. Well, what about crack babies? Even crack babies go to heaven. Uh, is there any crack in heaven? No, of course not. Don't be preposterous. Well, it's not going to be very heaven-like for them, is it? What with them uh, constantly fiending crack and all. Okay, all crack babies will be cured of their addictions to crack once in heaven. Hey, can I be cured of my addiction to crack? You're not a baby. I was once. Doesn't count. Next question. St. Peter, what if I never told a lie in my whole life? Then that would be good. So, heaven. But what if I just lied right there? Then that would be bad. Hell. What if I was lying about lying? Then that would still be bad. Hell. That was all hypothetical. Uh, St. Peter, what if I killed a guy? Well, that's bad. Hell. Okay, but what if the guy I killed was about to kill another guy? Well, that's commendable. That's, that's good. So, heaven. Okay, but what if the guy he was gonna kill was evil? Well, that's bad. Hell. Okay, but what if that man saved a wolf? What? That doesn't even make any sense. Come on, people. St. Peter, St. Peter. I'm a decent man. I led a good life. I never hurt anybody. I never cheated. I didn't steal anything. And I never had impure thoughts. And then last night, I was walking through the park, and a guy came up and mugged me, and then he shot me. But right before he shot me, he said, think of boobies. I don't think that's fair. Okay, no more questions. What about this? I killed a man because he claimed he was Jesus. Well, that's good. That would be blasphemy. No, no, no. I believed him. Okay, why do you even have to ask that? No. Hell. Okay, no more questions. No more questions. Uh, St. Peter, this man would like me to translate for him. He says, where I am from, I have heard nothing of this God, nor this religion you speak of. I was a good man. I led a good life, and I was a hard worker. I knew that by witnessing nature that there was a higher being, and I searched for knowledge about and respected him. But word of this religion never reached my ears. What then, St. Peter, will happen to me? Finally, a serious question. You would fall into the same clause as the children who are too young to discern good from evil. You were never given the opportunity to uh, learn about or worship the one true God. But... Your soul is pure and your intentions are noble, so you, my son, will spend eternity in heaven. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. That's not going to work. That's not... It just, I know you're lying. That doesn't... It's not going to work. It doesn't count. Stop. 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 